And thanks for watching KBOI 2 News First at 4. I'm Natalie Hurst. And I'm Brent Hunsaker. Add the word supporters waited nine years to get a public hearing at the Idaho State House. They got that hearing this session, but nothing more. House Republicans shot the bill down after three days of testimony. Scott Logan begins our team coverage. Representative Ken Andrus, whose motion was a death blow for the proposed bill, tried to console devastated Add the Word supporter Misty Tolman after its defeat. The House State Affairs Committee voted along party lines 13 to 4 to hold the bill in committee, effectively killing it in a first ever public hearing. The proposal would have added the words sexual orientation and gender identity to the state's anti-discrimination law. Is it fair to consider lawmakers who say they are moved by the stories they heard in these hearings but wouldn't vote for the bill to consider them as hypocrites? No, I don't think that's a fair analysis at all. Pe people, the people on this committee were moved. I am moved. For three days, gay, lesbian, and transgender people shared their struggle with lawmakers. I've gotten to know you. <clears throat> And I know that uh, from this point on, forever, I will be kinder and I will be more compassionate. But the testimony failed to convince the Republican majority that the bill, as written, would not violate religious freedoms. Democrats urged their GOP colleagues to send add the words to the full House for debate. Just to put it on the floor and let everybody else vote. No recommendation, just let it sit out there and let everybody else vote. Supporters wept openly as the long-awaited chance slipped through their hands. Motion passes uh, 13 to 4. You bury your soul in front of a group like this and you hope that they listen in earnest without agenda and I don't know that that happened here. After more than 22 hours of testimony and debate, the Add the Words hearing ends pretty much as it began a while ago with the silent act of protest. Scott Logan, KBUI News, the State House. Now Republicans on the committee also said they believe the words sexual orientation and gender identity were not well defined in the proposed Add the Words bill. Well, the fight isn't over. That's what the Add the Words supporters are saying today after that bill was struck down. Denny Hawkins is live at the State House with a look at what's next for the group. She continues our team coverage. Well, certainly an emotional end to three days of testimony here at the State House, ultimately ending with the committee striking down the bill that would add the or would make changes to the Idaho Human Rights Act. Now tonight, supporters say they're just trying to take the time to regroup and figure out what's next for Add the Words. After three days of emotional testimony, a 13-4 vote from lawmakers puts the Add the Words bill Within back on the shelf. But supporters of the Add the Words movement say this fight is far from over. I'm still always going to remain hopeful. I mean, look at all of these dedicated, kind, good people. You can't deny them equality forever. Supporters have been pushing to add the words gender identity and sexual orientation to the Idaho Human Rights Act for nearly a decade. Despite this decision, add the words leaders say there has been a shift and now the momentum is on their side. We're happy with all the progress. We're happy to see the compassion and that uh, many people who thought discrimination did not happen can no longer say that because they've heard the firsthand stories of gay and uh, transgender people. Gross wouldn't say whether the group had plans for more silent protests or other demonstrations this session, but leaders tell me supporters won't shy away until they've accomplished their goal. Add the words will definitely be at the State House for the rest of the session this year. We will be talking to our legislators and making sure that they have heard the voice of the people of Idaho. And add the words, supporters tell me they'll be sitting down to discuss the testimony on both sides that was made over this course of this week. From there, they'll figure out more exactly how they plan to address those issues. Back to you.